going to give a quick tip here on some of the things to look for to get your bow ready to hit the woods. And these are things that we've had go wrong over the years, so just going to share some information and hopefully get some success from it. But one of the things I, I always check, and I have the guy that set this bow up, is he tied my peep in a knot on both sides and wrapped around that. I do not want that thing moving. We've had in the past peep sites get stuck in the brush, move up and down, and cause a, a miss or a wound. And so that's the first thing. The string loop, same thing. I have him tie knots both sides of it so it can't move. You want to go through and just make sure all your Allen wrenches are tight and that everything is, is quiet. Uh, one of the things I did with this bow, this is the new Hoyt Carbon Spider, and when I first pulled it back with these little rubber grommets on top and you pull it back, if it hadn't been drawn in a while, it would make a little suction noise. So I put a little bit of coconut oil on there. That silen silenced it up. And the other thing is my grip had a little, just a little tiny squeak. I'm really fussy, so I took that off, put some felt behind that. You just want to go, go through, shoot your bow, you know, drop back a few times. Make sure that everything is just whisper quiet. Because I can't tell you how many times we've had elk and deer messed up by them hearing you draw. Those are a, a few things that I hope is going to help you out. And uh, we go through that every year when we're going over our bow and getting ready to hit the woods again. Good shot, buddy.